Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the workshop, time for another DIY project today. And um, today's video comes from some of your comments on previous videos. So if you're a subscriber, you might remember when I did this, this is a jewelry box amp that I made out of a jewelry box kit. And I added this jack here, which allows you to use it as a head. So you can use the internal speaker or when you plug in here, it disconnects the internal speaker and you can plug it into an external cabinet. Then more recently, I did this video where I took this here um, guitar combo and I rewired it so it has a amp in and a speaker out so you can use it as a head, a combo, or a cabinet depending on what you're feeling that day. And those videos have been fairly popular, so I really appreciate your support on those. And as always, I try to respond to your comments. And one of the comments that I got was that, you know, I've done a lot of videos on how to make heads or how to turn combos into heads or whatnot, but not really many about cabinets. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And so let me start with this before we talk about what we're gonna need. Use what you have on hand. I am not saying that the things that I'm using today are the ultimate way to make a speaker cabinet. I'm just showing how easy it is to do with things you have on hand. Well, this, you probably have one of these somewhere around your house. Uh, I got this at the dollar store. I think it was like $4.99 or something. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a little like organizer, like you put it on a shelf and you can put stuff in here. And um, I was like, perfect. I've got a couple of these and I noticed that the back of it is not very tight. You can hear it rattle there. So off camera, I took the other one here and I put uh, four little pieces of wood here. Now these are just scraps of wood they had laying around from when I did built a cigar box guitar. I used this wood for the neck and this is just a scrap. And so once you've got your cabinet, you also need like a top or a front for that cabinet. So this is what I'm gonna use today. And again, this is a wood scrap I had laying around. This is a piece of oak that from some previous project that I had. It actually looks pretty nice. So I'll probably oil it. There you go. So this together is going to make my box. Okay, now for your electronics, the first thing you're gonna need is some speaker wire. I've got a roll here, but just basically any speaker wire will do. And then you're gonna need some of these little slide on crimp connectors. Um, if you didn't wanna use these, you could solder them, but I'm not crazy about the idea of soldering on speakers, more about that later. And then you're gonna need just a straight up quarter inch mono jack, nothing special there. And then finally, you're gonna need some speakers or speaker or speakers. Now, I just wanted to use something cheap to illustrate this. this is, and this is the only thing I didn't have on hand. All the rest of this I had on hand. This I actually had to go out and buy, but this is a very cheap set of car speakers that you can see here, four inch car speakers, a pair of them. And finally, you just need some miscellaneous hardware. This is all optional, whatever you wanna do. I've got a couple gate handles here that I might end up using for handles on the side. Um, these are some rubber feet that I'll probably end up sticking on the bottom. And these are some furniture corners that I might use to dress it up. I'm not even sure, I'll just have to see how it looks as I'm going along. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out how we're gonna wire this, okay? And that is going to matter for what you want the impedance of the cabinet to be. And if all of this sounds like jargon to you, that's okay, I'm gonna make it simple with a chart. I've got these two speakers here and on the box here, somewhere right here on the box, I'm sure you can't see that, but it says the impedance of the speaker and these are four ohm speakers. So I have two four ohm speakers and I'm wanting an eight ohm cabinet. So this will work perfectly. All speakers have an impedance and the impedance is typically going to be either four, eight or 16 ohms. There are some uh, two ohm speakers and 32 ohm speakers and things like that. If you want, if you're using a single speaker, it's very simple. If you use a 16 ohm speaker, you have a 16 ohm cabinet. Nothing difficult there. When you use two speakers, then you need to do just a little bit of math. So if you have two four ohm speakers in parallel, that will be a two ohm cabinet. In series, that will be an eight ohm cabinet, which is what I want today. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire these in series. And I'm gonna put a chart on the screen right now for you to help as a cheater. If you have two speakers in series, depending on the impedance of those speakers, you could end up with an eight ohm cabinet, a 16 ohm cabinet, or a 32 ohm cabinet. If you have two speakers in parallel, again, just depending on the impedance of the speakers, you could end up with a two ohm cabinet, a four ohm cabinet, or an eight ohm cabinet. Get your wiring diagram down so you are ready, and let's get started.
Okay, so here we go, folks. It is done. And just a real quick overview. Um, you know, we've got kind of the panel mounted to the front. I did use that wood oil to kind of help the finish a little. We've got these handles on the sides. And I realize they're going the opposite way as you would typically think, but it doesn't matter. It still allows you to carry it. Rubber feet on the bottom to uh, insulate it. And then, of course, the input jack on the back. Now, one note, I used a hole saw to cut these holes so they are perfectly round. But there's no reason you have to do that. Um, you could just as easily do it with a jigsaw, just trace the circle and then cut it with a jigsaw or something like that. Um, you could easily put a couple of speaker grills here just to uh, kind of protect those speakers. Um, or you could create your own grill to go across the whole front. So a lot of different options of what you could do. I ended up not using the metal corners because I wasn't thinking about that uh, this screw is going to be in the way. So quick note about the wiring. Again, I wired these two forum speakers in series to cr create an 8 ohm uh, cabinet. Now you notice I soldered the two wires to the jack here and then I used the uh, slide on connectors for the rest of the terminals. You could use slide on connectors here too if you wanted. That is totally possible. You can just use a slide on connector to slide right onto the jack's terminal. Um, additionally, you could solder the speakers if you really wanted, but I don't recommend that because what damages a speaker is heat. And of course, when you solder, you know, there's heat. Here it is. And let's test it out and see if it works. Okay, folks, per usual, I grabbed one of my cigar box guitars here. And this is the combo amp that I modified not too long ago that I referenced earlier in the video. And I've got the speaker out now plugged into the new cabinet. So let's give it its first test. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And we should hear volume. Oh yeah. In fact, it sounds way better than the amp's internal speaker. Give it just a little more volume and uh, let's try a little shuffle here. sound bad at all but to prove that this works with more than just the stuff that I make I've also got an actual tube head here okay here we go so I got the tube amp plugged in let's take it off of standby and oh wow wow that's actually that sounds pretty good uh let's try something on the uh, cigar box guitar here Sounds pretty darn good, guys. Well, there you have it, folks. That was just a quick way to make a uh, guitar speaker cabinet from pretty much anything that you got laying around. Now, again, this is just a concept. Do whatever you want. If you want to make an 8-inch cabinet, you could probably find a little bit bigger box. There's all kinds of these kinds of things, crates, uh, sometimes shipping containers that things come in. And there's no, nothing that says they have to be wood. You could use plastic or metal or whatever makes sense for you. So just the concept, but it's so simple internally. You just run a couple wires put in a jack, trim it out with some handles and some feet and whatnot, and you've got a guitar speaker cabinet. It's really just that easy. So thanks for tuning in today. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.